Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I am here to compare and provide some very important points around the new certificate. I have prepared a simple Excel file where I have captured some of the important differences that are there between the old certificate and old cert and the new one. And also, I am going to compare them with the PDF documentation that is available from UiPath and give you as much as detail possible in this video. So let's get started. Now the very first thing, you look at the title, the exam title of both the certifications. Let me show you in the document. This first document is from the old certificate, which was known as UiPath Advanced RPA Developer or commonly known as UIARD. The new one is known as UiPath Certified Professional Automation Developer Professional. Okay, this is how UIADP. So this is how the differences is there in the title. So the new certificate that you are going to earn will have this specific title. You are part certified professional automation developer. All right. So that is the first difference in terms of the title that you are going to expect in the new certificate if you achieve it. Now the next thing in the exam duration, there is no change. I see both of them had 120 minutes. Even the new one also has 120 minutes. Now the third difference is the percentage score. Again, this remains same. 70% is the passing score, both in the old and the new one. So let me open the table for the old certificate. So you can see 70 and 70. Now one of the major difference that you would see is in terms of the exam fee. The exam fee for the old certificate was around $200. And this one is around $300. Okay, this is another important uh, difference that you would find in terms of the exam fee. The old one was of $200 and here it is $300. Okay, so that is one point. Now look at the validity. Now the validity of the old certificate as it is announced on October 13th will remain valid for three years from October 13, 2023 if you had cleared the exam already on or before October 12, 2023. No matter which date you have cleared the exam before this October 12, it is going to remain valid for next three years. So that is a good point for all the people who have cleared the exam with the old certificate. Your certificate is going to remain valid for three years. Now for the new people or who anybody who would like to give this new exam, once you clear from there, you will have a validity of three years from the day or from the date you clear the exam. Okay, so that is one thing. Now the very important point or the aspect around the products, what are the products they are covering in the new exam? So let me show you. Now let me scroll up and I'm going to get into the product section. So if you see in the old one, we were, we had given exam with 2021 studio robots and orchestrator. Now in the new one, as expected, it is going to be 2022. You can see it here. Okay. You have a studio robot and orchestrator. The major difference what I'm finding is the is in the exam topics. So let me come back to the exam topics. Okay, so these are the topics on each area. So here are the titles. The first one is advanced data manipulation. So all of this, if you had had a look in the old one, let me also compare with the old one. So here we have the exam sections. You have a studio we had. We had you have a studio activities and properties. Robotic Enterprise Framework, this remains almost the same. Uh, classic selector is no more there. .NET classes, objects, advanced functions. So this were the old set of uh, the major exam topics. Okay, and here we had uh, the minor details of each of these topics. But here in the new one, what we should be interested now to understand what are these topics. Now the very first one is advanced data manipulation. Now here they are expecting use link queries, list and data tables, perform date, date time manipulations. So you can expect questions around the date time manipulations to pass dates and or subtract time, convert to, so you can see this, right? You can, from this, you can make an estimation of different kind of questions that could occur during your exam. Use invoke method, invoke code in projects. In the debugging, Perform remote debugging when building automation projects. So new new topics have been added. Advanced UI automations. 
this was not in the previous one advanced ui automation use ai computer vision features in projects so you can expect questions around this automate virtual environments using remote runtime do you see it's a very new topic build ui automation using web driver so these are the different topics i'm going to help you where do you find the resources and everything if you are planning to prepare okay so let us go quickly advanced control flow here we are expecting describe the components of state machines uh, when they should be used in the projects build projects using state machine so this is more like the old one if you have knowledge on state machine i think this topic you will be able to easily clear that and then re framework again your re framework concepts would remain same a couple of other options uh, other points that are they have added test re framework projects with and without or i think let me compare with the re framework topic of the previous one error handling advanced functions classic folders okay understand so slight a bit of changes that you would find in the re framework okay explain the use of re framework uh, and the dispatcher performer so anybody who has knowledge around re framework dispatcher and performer i think those questions you should be able to answer describe the mechanism of re framework template okay use custom log fields in re framework projects uh, build a re framework project with orchestrator queues um, build a re framework transactional tabular data i think this is more like anybody who has knowledge on re framework i think should be able to answer the questions um the specific section okay now orchestrator let's see what is the difference in the orchestrator use tenant entities webhook see webhook is another alerts and folder entities triggers like credentials stores okay so all of these are new certain new areas that you have to really uh, work on if i compare with the old one orchestrator you have a studio classic dot net advanced topics error handling i think i missed it okay i'm not able to locate it here but again let's let's focus on the new one use tenant use features of unattended and automations so i think these things can be answered quite easily use orchestrator monitoring features so i think all of this i think re framework orchestrator i think those things can be answered now there's a new domain okay rpa testing there's a new topic being added rpa testing create and use basic data driven rpa test cases use the test explore panel to group test together so this is again a new area where you have to work on okay so these are the differences i am going to come up with all of this areas where are this you know where you should learn from what are the areas you have to focus i will try to create even i have very less time to create uh, large content and once i give the exam on this probably that's where i would have more time to create in detail contents however before that uh, anybody who would like to give the exam right so for them to just assist you i am just giving you few important informations now here how do you get trained so there is a in uipath academy automation developer professional learning plan the name of that okay so you open your path academy available after october 15 so check this out automation developer professional learning plan and there you start you know studying from that specific plan all right i hope um, you know this information would add a lot uh, in terms of expecting how you should prepare if you are planning for a new exam right and all this documentation i had already shared in my previous video um the very first video that i have created two days three days back so you can probably see that watch that um right and uh, if you have any further questions please do ask me in the comment section i will love to answer them thank you guys so let's meet once again in our next content till then take care